What's going on everybody? Robert back with another video for you guys. Today's video we're going to be reacting to Kodiak's self-driving autonomous truck in the oil field. So you want to stick around for this. I would just like to remind everybody if you're not already subscribed to the channel go ahead and hit that subscribe button down at the bottom of your screen. Turn on those bell notifications so that you guys will get notified every single time that I put out content. It really helps the channel guys. Just do it. But anyway, remember last week when I put up this video about Kodiak's autonomous self-driving trucks in the oil field? Well, today we're going to be reacting to obviously a video. Of, I guess it's like an advertisement that Kodiak came out with about their trucks actually hauling sand in the oil field. That's what we're going to be reacting to today. Maybe my thoughts and opinions on it and everything like that. So that would be something fun, entertaining. That's what we're going to do today, guys. Let's get into it. All right, guys, should be fun. Let's go ahead and check it out. Check her out here. Welcome to West Texas, a rough and remote part of the world where vital resources meet innovation. Every day, Atlas fills truck after truck with sand and dispatches them to customers. The routes are Guys, long they do, uh, and use unforgiving. A lot of sand, so I don't know how many trucks they get in like a sand, let's say a sand mine every single day, but it's it's quite a bit. We use a lot of sand in uh, fracking operations for sure. I mean, you got to think, dude, like 50% of like all semi traffic in West Texas, especially around Odessa, Midland, Pecos, Kermit, all of that, dude, has got to do with sand trucks. 50% of that traffic is sand trucks, hauling sand for sure. So you can get, get a little dangerous. Right for autonomous technology. Since our founding, we've been in pursuit of an autonomous system that is endlessly adaptable and always reliable. I don't know about reliable. I don't know how reliable this system actually is. I mean, I guess they would do more testing, I guess, on this thing, especially going on leash roads, because you got a lot of winding and you got potholes, you got, you know, big sand holes that, you know, you probably shouldn't go through. Also, the pipeline roads that trucks aren't supposed to go down. I don't know. I don't know if they set like a, a certain route in that truck and that's the route the truck's supposed to take. I'm not sure, but I don't know. It'd be interesting to like learn more about it. Capable of operating safely and efficiently in remote, Man, rough, and dirty environments. Oh. And here it is. <laughs> Sorry to keep stopping the video. Dude, look how much vibration is in that truck, dude. It's, it's quite a bit. Just check it out. Watch, watch. Today, we're integrating our driverless technology into Atlas's operations. By the end of the year, Dang. the Kodiak driver will be moving sand 24-7. Kodiak. Helping Atlas get the job done. That is their man. I believe it is Kermit, Texas. I believe, uh, yeah, I believe that Atlas facility is in Kermit there. Uh, but anyway, guys, that is the video um, of Kodiak's self driving truck, uh, autonomous trucks there. So as you can see, they actually put trucks out in, in testing, I guess you could say, to actually haul from the sand mine to the frack site. And they, like I said before, was pretty successful, man. They actually got that sand delivered for sure. But I, I'm kind of leery about how much it will work. How reliable will that technology actually be? Is it just gonna completely fall apart, you know, after some tests goes on? I mean, they're, they're obviously gonna have um, accidents or mishaps or something like that. You know, something's gonna go wrong. But I mean, that's just kind of expected whenever you're using a new technology or pretty much using something like that, period. But I'm just curious to see how that's gonna go. You know, we might see a uh, <laughs> Kodiak truck sitting on the side of the road uh, probably pretty soon. But anyway, but that is the video today reacting to Kodiak's autonomous self-driving trucks. Pretty interesting um, that they're actually trying to put that into the oil field and implement that hauling frack sand. Who knows, man? We'll see. I guess time will only tell. But anyway, I hope everybody is being safe and hopefully everyone has a wonderful week this week. And also remember, if you're not already subscribed, hit that subscribe button down at the bottom of your screen. Turn on your bell notifications so that you guys will get notified every single time I put out content. And until next time, keep it between the ditches.